What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about ILUS International, ticker symbol ILUS. We have received breaking news that they have finally acquired a US based company. Um, ILUS right now is sitting at 40 cents. Uh, the news was announced around 10.30 this morning. We saw that the price of the stock upticked about 44 cents, came back down to about 40 cents to where it's been at most of the day. Um, what I can say is, uh, I'm sure there's people out there who've sold um, this company because they were expecting the price to jump up higher to about 60, 70 cents based off the news, or people out there who were expecting bigger and better news. Now to me, this is the first of many to come in terms of acquisitions in the US, Europe, and Middle East. Um, we are still in Q3 in terms of uh, hoping to hear more uh, this week and next week in terms of, uh, I guess, more acquisitions to come. Uh, in the US and in Europe and in the Middle East. And we also have Q4 left. So I'm thinking in my personal opinion, this stock can hit a dollar um, at the least by January and February of next year. And within the two year, three year mark, I think this company can go to the two, three, four dollar mark um, without a doubt if they continue to go at this rate. Again, news this morning announced around 10.30 on their Twitter page. I have the article open here that I wanted to cover with you guys today, but I will be covering the main points of this article to save, um, I guess, you guys time. And if you're just interested in um, the article as a whole and going through the whole thing, I'll link it in the description below so you guys can check it out as well. So, the article mentions the company can announce that it has officially agreed to terms for the purchase of a profitable U.S.-based firefighting equipment distributor which holds multiple exclusive distribution contracts for the sales and servicing of some of the world's largest firefighting equipment brands and has a current annual turnover of three million that, that right there says a lot um, going down here we see that during the third quarter of this year Alice has been working on the completion of four acquisitions in the US so there's still some to come alongside that additional acquisition targets in Europe and in the Middle East. Um, Atlas determined that it was a priority to enter the US market by establishing a distribution model for existing products. So they wanted a company that had something already established in place ready to go and they were able to do that. So this alone right here is also great, great news for shareholders who are still holding this company. Um, article goes down to talk about more in regards to um, the acquisition is a well-known industry name um, and has been operating for about 20 years. So this company is well established. They have many contracts that they already have in place. Um, the company has exclusive uh, contracts in place for the world's largest hydraulic rescue equipment brand, one of the world's largest brands of rescue tools and rescue support equipment for a, uh, excuse me for a, a global leader in turnout gear going down here okay talks about the company has a strong online sales presence what business development currently led by its six member sales team all of whom who possess extensive relevant industry experience in addition to its 6,000 square foot um, warehouse and they already have plans it says here they have plans already to build out a 15,000 square foot um, showroom which is pretty massive, pretty insane. Um, this new warehouse will be double the size um, of this current one that they have in place, which would be pretty damn cool. And they'll include a showroom and a vehicle yard that they'll have included there as well. Um, going down here, there's many more things. It talks about um, the company and what they do and what the goal is. But what's, what's said here is that the US fire and rescue equipment industry is a multi-billion dollar per year industry that is growing at nearly 10% annually due to increased urbanization, which is pretty awesome. Um, and also the, the director gave us a, a small speech in regards to um, what their goal is, what the mission is, and they talked about how important the shareholders are, which is pretty awesome uh, to me as someone who is a shareholder of this company. Um, and it, they talked about their long-term mission and, and growth. And I wanted to focus here on, um, I guess, what their long-term mission really is. So if you see here, um, they talk about uh, in addition to moving into a larger distribution facility, which they mentioned above, 15,000 uh, square feet, 
Uh, additional short-term growth plans by Atlas for its acquisition include, but are not limited to, the opening of a distribution center on the West Coast in the U.S., which is pretty awesome. So I'm thinking West Coast, maybe Seattle or California uh, would be the, one of the two areas that they're probably looking to. Um, goes on to say, Atlas will also conduct a full marketing brand overhaul, which will improve the company's website, online sales platform, um, and also to overall look and uh, feel its search engine optimization. So they already have plans in place on how to improve it. Um, the CEO did uh, have, an, have an announcement. He said, we are excited to announce that the terms of this deal have been agreed for this acquisition. As we are purchasing a well-established business, the strength of the many distribution contracts are vitally important, and we have required that in order for the deal to com be complete, all distribution contracts must be renewed with the respective product manufacturers. So this is pretty insane that they'll have these contracts renewed for the, for the long term as well. And also goes on to say we um, are incredibly excited about the massive overall value this acquisition will add to Atlas and its shareholders. So going back to the company and what their mission is, that's simple. Technology and increasing value for shareholders. So again, this company can go easily to 2 $3 dollars by next year, in my opinion, I think by the end of this year into early next year, we'll see it at a dollar. Um, there's still much more announcements to be made. This company moves smart, they move diligent um, in terms of announcements and uh, what's put out there. Uh, this this company, people are sleeping on it, in my opinion. Um, I think people who are sold today uh, because of the price not moving in terms of where they wanted to go um, will suffer. I think that this company will easily jump up to that range I just mentioned where it's two, three, four dollars in the next two years. So if you're in this company, I personally would say long term. Uh, it's a long term company that has great great growth ahead for itself. Um, and it's just a company that I personally see myself investing into long term. And I'll continue to buy uh, this stock gradually, average down where I can. I think the price right now is still fantastic, in my personal opinion. Um, so we'll play it by ear. I think we'll the next few weeks to the next uh, month, we'll see more announcements being dropped. So if you're new to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe for more news and updates. If you like this, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate you smash the like button for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.